order to add or subtract rational expressions, we must have the same or like denominators. So as soon as we notice we don't have like denominators, the first step is going to be to factor the denominators. So for this first example, we're going to write this as seven over x times x, then we'll leave some space horizontally, plus two all over, now we'll factor x squared plus two x. Remember the first step in factoring is to factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case would be x. So we'd have x times the quantity x plus two. And if we want to have the same denominators, the denominators must contain the same factors. So notice that this fraction here contains a factor of x plus two, so this fraction needs a factor of x plus two as well. So we can multiply the denominator by x plus two as long as we do the same to the numerator. Remember, anything over itself is equal to one. So this is like multiplying by one. But now notice the second fraction is missing a factor of x because this denominator has two factors of x. So we'll multiply this fraction by x over x. Now notice the denominators contain the same factors and therefore we have like denominators. And now we can add by keeping the denominators the same and adding the numerators. So our common denominator is x squared times the quantity x plus two. The first numerator is seven times the quantity x plus two plus the second numerator of two x. So now we'll clear the parentheses here and combine like terms in the numerator. Notice when we distribute here we'll have seven x, seven x plus two x would be nine x and then we still have seven times two, that'll be positive fourteen, so we have plus fourteen. Now nine x plus fourteen does not factor, so nothing is going to simplify here, and therefore we're done. Remember we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction, so we're not able to simplify, for example, these x's here. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, we have different denominators, so the first step is to factor the denominators. So we'll have twelve over, this will factor into two binomial factors. First terms will be the factors of x squared, x and x. Now we want the factors of negative three that add to positive two, that's positive three and negative one. And we'll leave some room horizontally. Minus twelve all over, this will factor as well. Factors of x squared, x and x. The factors of twelve that add to seven, positive four and positive three. And now to make the denominators the same, the denominators must contain the same factors. Notice how they already share a factor of x plus three, but this fraction has a factor of x plus four, so this one needs a factor of x plus four. So we'll multiply by x plus four over x plus four. And here, this denominator is missing a factor of x minus one, so we'll multiply by x minus one over x minus one. Notice now the denominators contain the same factors and therefore we have our common denominator. Now we'll subtract, we'll keep the denominators the same and subtract the numerators. Remember the order of these factors does not matter because they're connected by multiplication. So the first numerator would be twelve times the quantity x plus four and we have minus twelve times the quantity x minus one. Now we're going to clear the parentheses in the numerator and combine like terms. So here we'll have twelve x plus forty-eight. And here because of the subtraction we'll think of distributing a negative twelve. So we'll have negative twelve x or minus twelve x. And then negative twelve times negative one is positive twelve, so we'll have plus twelve. And now looking at the numerator, 12x minus 12x would be zero, and 48 plus 12 is equal to 60. So this would be our difference. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. We'll take a look at two more examples in the next video.